Hey guys, it's me, Cutie the Bomb One, and today we'll be making a sweet potato dump cake. I baked two sweet potatoes and I peeled the skin off. When you bake it, you preserve all the flavor and all the sweetness and all the vibrant color. So I prefer to bake my sweet potatoes. I used two of them. I baked two sweet potatoes, but I'm feeling like I underestimated it. And I'm gonna want a little more sweet potatoes. So I'm going to add one can of sweet potatoes that I already have. And I'm gonna drain the water off of it. And there's not very many in there, just a little extra because I, I feel like I want to have a little extra. And these are all mashing up real, very easy. Okay, everybody has their own spin to this recipe. I thought I'd try something different today. So, instead of using milk, I'm going to use coconut milk, and as I am using a coconut flavored cake, not sponsored, but. I'm gonna add that a little bit at a time. So that's a, a cup of it. I'm just gonna stir that up real quick. And I can smell the coconut flavor. This is a holidays. Uh, so typically on holidays, I don't use the imitation vanilla. And we are going to use the uh, real. If I can get it up there. I'm going to run it under some hot water. And see if that loosens it up a little bit. And this is a pure vanilla extract. Okay, and we got it. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of that in there. Okay, so that was a good tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract. In my hand, I'm going to measure. A tables a tablespoon of cinnamon and then I'm going to add some pumpkin pie spice that has allspice mace and nutmeg in there I gave it a nice teaspoon of allspice I'm going to stir those all in Now, I am going to add <clears throat> one cup of sugar. So for these, two, three, four, that's a half a cup of sugar, of white sugar. And I am going to add the same amount of brown sugar as well. I am eyeballing it, guys. But And so, that is a half a cup of packed brown sugar. How do I know? Okay. So, I'm stirring that up really well. You can use your blender. I have a blender, but I hardly ever use it. It can be, I have a few lumps in it. It doesn't have to be totally smooth. And you can see with this 
batter looks like. I want a nice amount of the pumpkin pie spice in there. I'm gonna just taste it now. Mm. The coconut milk gives it mm, an amazing taste. So now I am going to add one egg in this. I'll do two eggs. My eggs are small, so we're gonna, well, before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. You can melt your butter, you can melt it butter. This is one tablespoon of softened butter. And I'm gonna stir that in. I blend that as well as I can. It definitely would do better if I would have melted it, but. It's gonna blend the same. So when it's not melted, you're not gonna taste the butter in there. We're gonna just do a quick taste. It has a really great flavor. Okay, I'm going to add my eggs. Two. These are two small eggs. You can do one large egg. It's, it's really up to you. Gonna crack my eggs in there. I'm gonna chase after the white membrane. Guys, I'm not an egg lover. Okay, so I got one out. The other one I lost, okay? Okay, I got the second one out. You can do how you want to at your house. My hands are clean. I have polish on, but I tasted it as much as I'm gonna taste it before I added the eggs. Some people will taste it once the eggs are added, but not for me. So it has the flavor I wanted to have. Now, I am going to add it into the pan that I bake my potatoes in. And the reason why, it has a good crust in there and that good, if you see this syrup from the sweet potato, and I don't wanna lose that flavor. I don't wanna lose it. It's gonna have a little bit of crust on there. And for me, that's fine. I keep trying with this cake pan. I don't expect this to come out. Uh, I expect to use a spatula or a spoon to get that out with. And I'm just gonna evenly distribute this all over the bottom of that cake pan. This cake is not gonna be a high rising cake. And if you feel like you want a little more moisture in there, feel free to add a little bit more of that coconut milk in there and just spread it over. Spread it over in there just to give it a little extra flavor. 
and just a little extra moistness. Because I want it to be moist. I'm going to bake it for a little bit. So I'm just going to add just a tad bit more because it has such a great flavor. And I don't want it to get soupy, but I want it to bake for a while. So next. I'm going to add my I'm going to add my uh, cake mix to it. And I'm going to evenly as possible distribute this cake mix over the top of this sweet potato. as possible and I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to smooth that. I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. A lot. I'm using a round cake pan. I'm gonna move you guys so you can maybe see a little bit better. Okay. All my trash, I'm gonna just put it in I'm gonna go throw this away real quick. All right, so you can see what we have right here. And I'm gonna move this up and out of the way. Okay, so next, I'm gonna cut this butter as thin as possible. I want this one stick of butter to cover the whole cake. So that whole cake gets crisp. And I'm gonna just spread that all around. They don't have to be thick slices at all. You just want them to be crisp because the butter is gonna go down and not pull out. I'm trying to avoid using, overusing the butter. And I'm as thin as I can with the butter. Because what will happen with the dump cake, if you don't spread it out, it, you'll have dry patches on there. So that's half a stick of butter already. So we have the rest of this stick of butter. Some people will use a couple sticks of butter trying to just conserve and then also that butter sticking to the knife. <laughs> okay. Then next one to push that up off again. As thin as thin as possible. So you can cover that whole whole cake. I still have a third of that butter stick. And I'm doing really well with the coverage of this cake with the one stick of butter. So 
So now I have every area covered on this cake. So I'm gonna try to fill in in any area that I see can use a little more butter. So I'm gonna just do it this way. So it's finely, finely sliced. And I did a pretty good job with covering that whole area with the butter. I have a little bit more of the uh, coconut milk in there left. And in just the places that I, I feel like it's uh, dry and didn't get any I'm just gonna pour that on there, the rest of that coconut milk. Who's counting? Okay. So, now, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick, rinse this off. Okay, now I'm gonna place this in the oven and I'm gonna I'm gonna bake this for a good 45 minutes. So I will show you guys the results when I get through. Um, you will probably see it in the YouTube, YouTube shorts. Thank you for cooking with me. This is a sweet potato dump cake. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.